welcome to video number 19 SQL reporting service and in this video we're going to see again a parameter based report but this time we're going to see the cascading parameters in the previous four videos I have tried to show you the different techniques using which you can apply the parameters so what is a cascading parameter cascading parameter it's like one is dependent on the other all right so that's what is all about the cascading so when I look at my products if you see over here I see my products in here right <coughs> and I'm using my laptop so you might experience a lot of little slow things you know because I'm not very good at using a laptop so you'll see the product table and product ID and the category ID and it's a foreign key relationship so based on the category we will try to show the products so product table itself is depend on the category right uh, so if you don't understand so right uh, well what we'll do is we'll click on write report and try to add an item and we'll call this report as anything blah 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 so I'm not for it now and now I'm gonna choose the data set and important thing to notice I got a data source generic over here which is pointing to my instance name cool so I don't need to worry anything at all right so all I need to do is I need to prepare a data set and I'm gonna call this data set as get data and this guy will get me a data I'll use this connection and I don't have anything so I'll click on new and then I'm gonna choose a use share data reference option and then I'm gonna choose a generic <coughs> which you can see on the right hand side and I'm gonna click OK then I'm get down to my query and I'll start adding my tables <coughs> which I actually I need uh, um, do I need a category? Yes, I do need. And I need only these two tables because uh, as the relationship, you can see they are dependent on each other. So I'm going to choose category ID, category name, product ID, product name, and what else I'm going to choose? Quantity per unit and the unit price. So I think this will do. And at the very same time, I'm going to add a filter. That's a where condition. I'm going to say category ID is equal to category body ID all right and I'm gonna hit enter so you can see the where condition is applied in the query and I'm gonna do the same again for product ID all right hit enter and it's done so you got your query ready if you want to test it you can test it using the execute option there so now I got my data set ready plus you can see I got category ID and product ID so if I try to preview this the reporting service is very smart it knows that I need to provide the product ID and category ID alright so uh, in order to ease the life down of a user or customers we'll do is we'll add more data set and we going to call this guy as cat data set category and I'm gonna choose the data source one I'm gonna explain you where did that guy came from and in here I'm gonna add a table I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna say close next I'm gonna choose category ID category name and that would be all alright so data source one what you're seeing over here is when we created a connection uh, this data set at that time we chose this data source which is actually pointing to this fella right so it's the same no need to panic so we got a category in action next thing we need to add a products and we're gonna call this thing as product and we're gonna call this thing as and now we already have a connection so this guy data source one is pointing to share connection let's create a query for a product table I'm gonna come here I'm gonna say product and I'm gonna choose product ID and product name but I'm gonna add a dependency in here I'm gonna say where category ID equal to oops say all right add the rate category ID okay so this is cool and it's all set so basically what I'm doing is I am actually <coughs> pushing my product ID I mean the this data set to get me first category then I'll give you the products all right and next thing we need to configure our category ID uh, let's preview this <coughs> first so so far everything is good uh, let's configure this guy <coughs> I'm sorry 
<coughs> parameter leave everything as it is go to available values choose it from query and this is a category so I'm going to choose a data set as cat and category ID and what I want to display to users is category name so this is done next thing is a product ID right click parameter properties go to available values do not touch anything else and product <coughs> because this is a tricky thing because I have tried this thing for like two or three times it kind of failed so I'm not touching anything in around here let's preview and tada now you can see the category ID is on the left hand side which gives you a fac facility to choose the beverages and you can see on the right hand side the product ID is dependent on the category ID so once I release the category it will fill the products alright and then we can do something <coughs> so let's get back to designs and let's do something which I don't want to do and I'm gonna call this as prompt please select category hit ok parameter products and please select product ok cool uh, next I wanted to do is like as you can see our designer surface is empty so what I'm gonna do is you know I'll go back to my report data okay and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll modify this query I'll modify this query and I'll add more tables to this uh, I'll add uh, order and order details both order details and order so we are cool and I'm going to choose few things out of which out of this um, those things would be order ID uh, no, 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 not from this table. Let me get this guy up uh, up front. I'm gonna choose order ID. I'm gonna choose order date. So this looks okay. Hit okay. So we got the order ID and order date. Now quickly jump into the toolbox. Let's get the table outside. Let's go back to report data and start putting your stuff. Order date. Whoopsie. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. How the hell you went in there? Now in laptop it becomes very difficult for to control. So order date, then I'm gonna do order ID, then I'm gonna put the unit price. I'm gonna right click, uh, insert columns onto the right side. I'm gonna add a quantity, damn it, for unit. I'm gonna add one more column and that would be all on the right hand side and I'll call this guy as the product name All right uh, so I just actually what query initially what I wrote was just to get a product and category name that was it but actually that was not my intention I want to keep the things very easy so that's the reason why afterwards I changed the query that I want to track the order I want to know like on what is the ID and what is the date this order was taken place all right and for which uh, I'm giving the functionality more in detail to user all right uh, you come there and you provide only few things to me and in return I will give you the data so I'm gonna change this guy to little bit equal as all right this looks okay and let's preview now so you can see I need to choose the beverages first so I have chosen the beverage and I need to choose the product so I'm gonna choose chai and view now as soon as I hit the box uh, you can see all the data right so this is very very cool you can see the order date you can see the order ID and a lot of things uh, you can see plus as usual uh, we have learned from our past that we can you know mess around with whole this thing so I'm not sure but let's try I'm gonna put the order date in between and I'm gonna preview it so actually what I'm doing is I'm trying to group I'm trying to get the beverages first and I'm, I'm trying to get chai and then I'm saying view report and the view report I'm kicking in the order date I'm sorry something went wrong what just happened one second uh, let me go back to my design and let me get rid of date delete columns alright so I'm gonna save this thing and 
let me preview again hopefully beverages and the sky is chai and you report so I see based on the order date I see the grouping but I don't see money much all right I see the grouping in here so that's cool all right so grouping is going on in there so this is what actually we learned from the past so I'm applying in here so you got the idea right so basic thing first you prepare your query you supply your parameters then the cascading is like we are trying to create a dependency we know that product table has a heavy dependency on the category because generally when you go to any superstore based on the categories the products are set up right so we need to supply the category so we are forcing here users that first you come into the store all right first tell me what type of beverage you want all right I'm sorry the category you want you say beverages then you direct him someplace and then he goes there and then he sees a lot of products down there and he does what he wants right and at the very same time you can just view the reports and you can do different things so I hope this video gives you an idea how can you use the cascading uh, parameters and one tiny piece of advice don't mess around with the this parameters if you change these parameters are very case sensitive if you mess around with them so it might happen that you're doing everything correct but you might end up with an error and it will be very frustrating you are doing nothing wrong but it will give you an idea I mean uh, an error of uh, case sensitive error so just <coughs> keep it simple and keep it casual alright so I hope you like this video if this video helps you in some way give me a like and give me a I'm sorry that's what I mean by thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so thank you for watching this video good night and take care